Hello, and welcome to Beneath Oressa. I'm assuming this is probably Oressa in the background here. I mean, it looks kind of similar to this thing they've got in the title screen going here with a little tower in the middle. So I'm assuming this is Oressa, and we're probably going to be going beneath that. Uh, this has been featured on the channel before in the Steam Next Fest. It is pretty good. And the early access version came out today with the game is fully playable all the way through with essentially in early access they're just going to be polishing it up and adding additional content so it's basically it's feature complete but not content complete essentially is probably the way to put it so you can beat the game with um, with the, uh, the factions that are available and so on but you cannot uh, access all the factions all the challenges etc um, the game simply put is a basically think slay the spire if it's like badass stat was increased to 10 that's basically what we've got here so uh, let's see regular sortie so let's have a look uh, da -da -da. yeah the agora choose a request since gods have abandoned Aressa an uh, entire fauna gathers in the Agora. Mercenaries, cultists, knights, ambassadors. People come here to ask for help, submit contracts, or offer their services. Looks like there's no special requests or anything. So, as I said, there's no like special challenges or anything that are available yet. So, just the standard game, but it is playable as far as I'm aware all the way through. So... I believe in the early in the uh, next fest demo you could only play as Hectos here, um, but now it looks like we've got three characters to choose from. So we can be uh, in addition to him we've got Doltar and we've got uh, Neredi. So we've got the Blind Herald of Erath. Each first attack of a round against a foe grants one whatever that is he gets the card off against adversity and the patriarch's duty so he gets these uh, starting cards first attack uh, of the round against the four grants five uh, retribution I think if I remember from the demo I think the retribution yeah he builds that up and then does like a counter attack and essentially so it builds up and he essentially gets a super attack that deals that much damage however much has been built up. Return an attack from your discard it costs zero gain one smite and then if the target is still alive on their turn gain one smite. So some zero cost attacks and things and some draw not bad and then this like that builds up your special um house agica de faraday so as i said there's factions and it looks like all of these are from this house of agica de faraday i'm probably pronouncing it wrong it is french but so they'll each get uh family arts to gain free retribution uh <coughs> and biting harry that gives them some guard and some retribution so and we can see upgrades and that's something we're going to find as well upgrades it's not just hey it gets better it's you can change the way it behaves so here we can get additional retribution or we can add knockback to the attack for example here you can get uh ah charge there charge fills your counter attack meter or then we can get uh, instead it does more block and retribution so let's see what individual cards they get so which of tier uh, may now grant unrivaled rarity cards um, gain two smites each time you erase a card, this card's damage increases by one. Not bad, not bad. Um, we get uh, gain a charge, suffer two non-lethal uh, damage, 
and gain six charge. Charges fill your counter tap meter, increases hand size by one. So they seem like a very aggressive character. So I don't quite know exactly what all of these bonuses and things could mean quite yet, so I'm just going to stick with the default first character for our first run. Right. But we do get to bring one of the others as a companion. So, in the uh, next fest demo, we got this character as our companion. So, I'm just going to bring these in. And we're going to kind of just go with our basic starting characters for our first run until we, till I've kind of found my feet here. Right, till, I've found, till I've found my foot and so on. So, when I say it's, this is very much like Slave Aspire, if it's badass rating was up. So, literally you can kind of see we've got these different events. At various points there's going to be choices. So, we can sometimes veer off the uh, set path to do different things. Essentially to do optional elite challenges. At each one here, so we've got a breach. We can choose a strategy. We can borrow this fight, increase your max. Uh, I think that's your amount, the amount of things you can do in a turn by one, or increase your hand size by one. We'll go with this. So, when I say that it's way more badass, you can see here that this isn't just a 2D like card deck building game. No. This is very different. So, how to play. During your turn, spend your resources to play cards. When done, hit end turn. Foes will play according to their intents, and a new round will then start. So we've got, they're going to buff themselves. They're going to move into our zone and then attack for 11. They're going to shoot for 5 while staying in their zone. Let's see, so mouse wheel targets. Right. They've got their intent there, yep. Powers and statuses, yep. Hit points there and the stand special rule applied to the applied to the four for this turn. So not a special rule though. Resentful clawing each time you attack this four it gains five somethings. Um This is the energy to sp you spend to play cards with. If you've played card games, you'll know most of this uh, already. We've got powers and our status effects here. Hit points in the middle, obviously, and then how much block we've got there. And then we've got these zones. Yeah. Now, this is where we kind of veer off from a traditional deck building game. That So we've got near, far, and let's see, uh, there doesn't exist a specific action to change zone. To move into a zone, you have to attack a foe in that zone with a melee attack. So that's how we kind of bounce around here. So, let's hit him with... And this is where the badass sort of, badassness of it comes in. Targets still lie on their turn. Gain smite. So let's close the gap on this guy. Get in his zone. And I believe this symbol means this is like a power and it's going to stay active for the entirety of this. Yeah. Patriarch's duty. We can skip our turn now. The enemies do their attack. And yeah, so that's a power. So the first attack of a round against four grants five retribution. Right. Each turn, two cards in your hand gain zeal for the turn. When discarding a zeal card, instead of playing it, gain two charges towards this. When it's full, automatically cancel and counter the next strongest melee attack. Uh, when counter-attacking, deal damage equal to your retribution, which is currently nine. So basically when this bar fills up, 
we will immediately go for whoever's about to do a strong melee attack to us. Whoever's doing the strongest melee attack to us at the time will basically get smacked for all this damage that we've been stashing up. So this guy's kind of getting a bit messed up. Um, and this guy's going to move into your zone and attack. Inflex the negative effect or card. And we can bring something back. We can take this and we can just leave it and that should give us some charges towards that. Okay, good. We are losing some health and we're bleeding now. So on draw, draw one card. If the card is discarded at the end of the turn, so for four non-lethal damage. Right, so these have got zeal applied. And we're just going to kind of let that go. Our counter bar is full. So we do that special attack where we smack the crap out of him. And now we don't really need to worry about anything. And we can just hit him because we've got lethal. Now we can learn new techniques. So just like other uh, deck builders, you get a card at the end of your fight. And we are going to be going for, let's see... Um, we can do 20 damage. Uh, can it be played on a target standing far? So we can't change zones with this essentially. But another four will heal for 10. So really, the net damage done with this is 10. Uh, your smite deals two extra damage. So this will be a permanent bonus once you've activated it. Um, I'll return an attack from your discard pile. And it costs zero to play. Could be quite useful. We'll go for the power for now. So as you can see, we're moving up here. We've got a scavenging event. So we can heal for 15. Uh, and gain one of three injectors. Or lose HP and gain an anti quor uh, anti. That is spelt incorrectly. Whatever they're trying to spell... Uh, you've got to have a U after a Q. Basic grammar. <laughs> Antiquor uh, antiquorum. So I believe this is like getting a relic in other games. A sort of permanent perk for this run. So, an auto-looter. When the time to fight replaces uh, pickpocketing... This little and uh, this little antiquorum self-activates to sometimes make happy discoveries. When a foe is destroyed, 10% chance to gain a volatile injector. And now we'll be going towards another fight. We can get 10 armor for the first round, or draw two additional cards in the first round. So we're going to lay an ambush to get an extra draw. So these have zeal. This is going to buff self or ally. Same with this. So we'll play that. And I think we don't need to do any uh, blocking or anything. We can build this up pretty quick. Uh, if the target's still alive on their turn, gain one smite. And we can activate our power here. Right. And leave it at that. That'll fill up this meter. There comes the counter. <laughs> Someone else has arrived. Right, these have got the zeal then. This card is removed this fight when played. 
So smite. Ah, so that's what smite is then. It's a free attack. Okay. And after killing that enemy, we did get uh, one of those. Uh, what's it? Uh, auto injectors, or auto sims, whatever it's called. So, draw your next next attack. Its cost is reduced by two and damage increased by ten. Volatile it will disappear at the end of the fight. So we want to use that quick. We've done a ton of damage to him. And then we can do a few biting parries. We can let this smite go. It does a nice bit of damage, but now we can build up this bar to basically half. We're not going to do a lot of damage. We can pretty much finish them off here. We get a bunch of block. Um, got him. And this one's on three health, so, you know, smite. There we go. Lovely stuff. He is very dead. Learn new techniques, so we can get postponed sentence, gain twelve uh, block. If you had an if you have an odd amount of charge, choose a card from your discard pile and shuffle it into your draw pile. Draw your next attack, maneuver and program. And we can then and we can use that once. Deal 20 damage to a random foe. If they're destroyed, draw a card and repeat this effect. Okay. That could do a lot of damage. <laughs> so, scavenging. Heal 20 or gain 5 max. We're still pretty high up there at the moment. So I think we can gain 5 max, and it should heal me for 5 as well. I hope. It probably hasn't, has it? It has not. Right, we do want to start healing though now. So let's actually get some health back. Deal 20 damage. Okay, let's try then. Hmm. Echoing power. Yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> so it hit one, changed, uh, chained it into the other, and just obliterated them. We can return an attack from our hand. Sure, and give a smack. Ow! You git! Uh, summary of justice. Discard one card and draw one card whilst dealing 11 damage. Um, humble Sun. It has knockback. Um, if you are alone in your zone after the attack, draw a card. Pretty good. Gain 13 block. Each time you are wounded this round, gain 5 uh, retribution. Uh, hmm. This might be pretty good, that. Yeah. Because if it's a lot of block, and if it isn't enough, we'll get that counter pretty much. You know, it'll, get, uh, it'll come back to us pretty early. 
plan increase companionship by one upgrade a card or we can rest so this is a regroup event if our companionship goes up i believe we get this straight away so we'll get this card gain temper unleash or feed the wolf so we can basically get a card that allows us to adapt that card into whatever we need at the time so that could be pretty good each fight heal five and as you can see so we can keep uh, keep buffing this up even to the point where we gain a bunch of max HP full heal yeah pretty good or we can just heal to full or upgrade a card I think we're going to go for the plan then It looks like that doesn't upgrade, right, okay. That's the point, maybe I should be looking at card upgrades before just grabbing them as well. Might be an idea. Uh, this fight gain one energy and a card. Ooh, yes. Oh, is that just for the first turn though? Silent Gunner. And healer sentry. Ah. Hmm. I'll need 17 block, which I can't really get. But we will block for some, at least. Right. Seven, seven and seven. So it can block like 21. That's most of the damage. We'll discard this one normally. That way that'll give us some zeal. Yeah. And then we'll see what this does. Gain two smites. Each round gain one smite. So five non lethal damage you put damage you put draw three cards. Let's get that. Let's keep hitting them with that. Right. That's full. Whoever hits us next is going to be getting a real hard time of it. So let's see. Uh, uh, oh, I should have been playing that first. Damn. They could have been dealing extra damage. Okay, let's get some block up. And... Yeah, just start blocking and... Hopefully this works. This is very high. Oh! <laughs> Hello there. Oh, he healed you, did he? Oh, that won't be helping you here. Oh, we are hurting though. Smite! He was smitten. If you have an odd number of charge, uh, the target suffers two weakness which decreases attack damage by that amount. 
Um, splashing Scandal. Another for Nia suffers two weakness. Deal twin deal twenty damage to a random foe. Echoing Yeah, that that's that's been a good card so far. It's really good with dealing with small numbers of enemies. Upgrade one of gain a card. Upgrade one of three cards and remove a card. That might be pretty good for us. Um Ooh. Yeah, I don't think knockback is all that great, but we'll deal 30 damage or deal retribution damage to a random foe if they destroyed your card. Oh, god damn. So if your retribution damage is high, holy hell, that could hurt. Hmm. Let's go with that. We'll try and discard a basic attack. Yeah. Better reward. Breach, incursion, more danger, better rewards. Study, attack. So this says it will give us a better reward as a result, but this says it will be more dangerous, but give us better rewards. So the question is, which one gives us better rewards? Hmm. We're not in great shape right now, and it looks like there's an incursion coming up anyway. So yeah, let's not push it. Um, right. Okay, we've blocked most of it. Uh, let's see, return attack from your discard. This is gonna hurt a bit. Ah! Hurt a lot, even. Right. Smite deals extra. Yeah, we are going to have to start doing some blocking at least. But this is Reddit. Ooh. See, a foe is destroyed the same round you draw. If a foe is destroyed the same round you draw this card, add three curses to your draw pile. Uh oh. Get him. Gotcha. Fading, just get five charge. Nice, not bad. Um, each time you play Smite, this card's damage increases by two until played. Uh, if a round, uh, if the target is destroyed this round, uh, each four near them suffers fifteen damage. Hmm. Sure. And yeah, we're gonna have to heal here. Especially with a big fight coming up. 
this fight gain to that um, yeah we might as well go for this this fight you have 25% chance to gain something Ooh, so what have we got? Psy Preacher, Silent Gunner. So they're quite weak. Silent Relay, when this foe is destroyed, all foes suffer 25% uh, damage. All combatants near suffer 15. Each round of random foe gains 4. Whatever reconstruction at the end of ground heals this amount of HP and reduces reconstruction by one. When this foe is destroyed, all foes alive suffer. Right, if we kill him, he just dies. So go for this one. He's essential what they're saying to me there. Right. Okay, I think we've got, yep, charges going up. Uh, let's see, we're going to want to block some damage at least. Right. Assault suffer 10 non lethal damage. If this card is discarded at the end of your turn, a random card in your draw pile has their cost increased by one. Ooh. Right. Health is running low. Very low. We've got to do 71 damage pretty quick. Which I may well be able to do actually. Um, 52. Uh, I think this will do it. Right. Echoing prayer. Get him. What? Why did it? Oh, it targets them randomly. No. Oh, no. We're done for. We've died to the elite. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Defeat. Score 20%. Five encounters, three scavengers, two regroups. Right, that'll be doing it for the first attempt. We'll try again next time and see if we can get a bit further, maybe hit our first boss. I hope to see you then for that, and thanks for watching.